In this video, I want to discuss what you can do with ChatGPT in terms of research. So first of all, some key facts about ChatGPT. It's open to the public, has been launched in November 2022. It is based on the neural network GPT 3.5. And GPT itself is a so-called transformer network, which is based on a paper released in 2017 by the Google Brain team. If you want to try out ChatGPT, you have to register uh, under the URL in blue here. And ChatGPT was created by OpenAI. So let's say you're writing a research paper and you have an abstract. Very often your abstract is slightly too long. So this one has 1135 characters and maybe you have a character limit of 900 characters, so you could ask to 900 characters and with uh, shift enter you can insert uh, an empty line. So let's check this. So the new abstract has 918 characters, fair enough. and. Uh, Let's read it. Okay, it reads a bit less elegant, let's say. Um, so now the next step would be to find a good title for the paper. So the original paper is called How to Hold Your Phone When Tapping, a Comparative Study of Performance, Precision and Errors. Let's see what um, ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, so I think um, some suggestions like three and uh, five are not bad. And so you can do this multiple times uh, if you like. And then basically uh, piece together your, your title. You can ask for more creative titles. Okay, so like grip it and tap it or the fine art of tapping. These are actually quite interesting and creative variations. What else can we do apart from shortening abstracts and finding uh, a good and or creative title? Okay, let's take a different paper. Okay, so here's another paper where my, my colleague and I compared different screen sizes um, in terms of performance. And we saw, so um, she did uh, a number of Fitzlaw studies with a small display, medium display, and a big display. And what you usually do is after the experiments are done, you write up the results, which is quite boring. So we tested for speed, error rate, performance, and also conducted a questionnaire among the participants. And let me feed these results into chat GPT and ask chat GPT to discuss these results. Okay, so shift enter. First result section on speed. Second result section on error rate. Section on performance and the section on questionnaire and let's see what chat gpt is making of this so in the original paper the discussion was actually split into three sections one for the small screen one for the medium screen and one for the large screen and then an overall comparison let's see what chat gpt makes of it Okay, this is correct, maybe a bit um, too short. So let's find out whether ChatGPT can also discuss the separate screen sizes um, individually. Let's compare this with our discussion. Yeah. 
that's pretty pretty similar so the medium screen it's uh, we found performs quite well so let's discuss the results for the medium screen yeah they're also pretty pretty accurate um, and let's do the last one the last screen perform best of the three yeah so yeah so slower than the small display um, but otherwise um, it performed quite well okay again we can trying to have some suggestions for creative titles for this uh, second paper so also um, interesting suggestions um, let's see if, if we give the original title uh, we could ask for um, alternatives okay so again uh, a number of really interesting alternatives for instance from small to large I like that one the great display debate is a bit maybe a bit too too much over the top uh, maybe we can also look at what chat GPT cannot do uh, for instance do like a related work survey So anything relating to the outside world or which would require <clears throat> looking up stuff uh, on the internet or on Wikipedia uh, uh, is not possible. Sometimes you have the feeling that ChatGPT would probably have the information but doesn't want to give it to you. So when you write a research paper you could also ask for uh, a rough outline. Okay, so this is um, obviously quite a standard uh, structure and outline. Um, however, for someone who um, has just started um, doing research, uh, this is probably a really good um, indication on how to do it. So this is our outline results and discussion and conclusion and future work so this is more like the typical uh, empirical psychology um, structure you could also ask um, let's say how many participants you need for a Fitz law study okay too many people asking chat gpt okay so of course uh, uh, chat gpt is always eager to um, point out that uh, suggestions depend on context and site conditions but 20 to 30 participants is actually um, a good uh, ballpark and so i could ask for tips regarding the experimental design Mm -hmm. okay this is all good advice so we could try to elicitate ideas for follow-up work okay so the suggestions are mm, a bit generic yeah not that interesting we could try again we add the creative okay conducting a field study so uh, behavior in the wild it's also a common method use of virtual reality okay that's interesting 
develop machine learning algorithm to predict touch performance. Okay, that's actually also um, interesting. Investigate the impact of tactile feedback. Okay, great. Um, conduct a comparative study of touch performance on different types of touch-based interfaces, tablets, smartphones, or touch walls. Okay, also good. Okay, so the word creative seems to spark some um, uh, intellect here. Uh, what is quite common in the HCI area is to derive some design guidelines from the results and ChatGPT now knows the results. So I ask him to uh, derive design guidelines. These guidelines are uh, relatively okay in terms of quality, but are a bit too um, general. And the first points repeat the discussion of the results. Maybe I ask for concrete examples for the points one to three. Okay, so concrete scenario for a tablet is uh, typing a document or editing a photo, large display drawing or painting, and small display entering complex passwords or signing documents. Okay, great. Maybe I ask for more creative suggestions. Okay, so medium-sized display, enter information from a paper into a digital interface, large screen, Brainstorming with multiple users. Okay, that's good. Small screen, playing musical instruments or drawing diagrams. Oh, not 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 good for playing musical instruments. Okay, negative example. Also interesting. Okay, so now let's say you have finished the paper and you have published it and you want to release a really sensational press release. Wow, that's really good. And remember, size matters. Okay. Um, I want to have a sensational title for the press release. Five creative suggestions. Small screens, big problems. Size matters. Great display debate. Okay. And the touch screen showdown. Okay. Not bad. Okay. But maybe finally, from the other paper. I insert the abstract. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. The grip is king. Thumb versus finger. The battle for touchscreen supremacy. The ultimate guide to mobile touch performance. One hand or two. The responsive touch revolution. Okay. It sounds all great. Okay, so um, I've uh, shown you some um, hopefully interesting applications, uh, how you can use ChatGPT for your research, from designing your study, uh, writing up your paper, shortening your abstract, finding a good title, to formulating a good press release, including a sensational title. See you in the next video.